everyone welcome back today's video is a review of the new pocahontas of anesco i apologize for mispronouncing it wrong i feel so embarrassed i kept saying ensco and come to find out when i was at the mall there's a store there's a lot of disney and ensco figurines and the owner she corrected me and said it's actually pronounced Anansko. Anansko. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so yes, this is the new of um, Pocahontas. It was released in May of this year. I reviewed the um, Pocahontas White Woodland. That that was what it was called. Um, so yeah, but this is the beautiful Pocahontas. As you can see, her tattoo um, it's supposed to be in her other arm, which is covered by this coat, like a wool coat from what it looks like. Um, so I guess the artist decided to put it on her leg. I'm not a big fan of that. I preferred on her arm, like her signature look. Um, I think that he should have put the coat on the other arm and that would have been okay, but it's okay. If people make, I guess, honest mistake or sometimes they intentionally want to do it to you know, I guess for it to look different or I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know why he did that, but that's just my preference. That's just my opinion. I mean, sorry. So we see her signature um, beautiful outfit of her Native American culture and her necklace. Her She has like three different necklaces and we see her beautiful tan complexion her almond shaped eyes her big brown eyes her lips she i mean he did an amazing job and i'm i'm so so impressed and her beautiful long jet black straight hair as you can see it's like flowing i love that he actually put the leaves it, it it's just exactly like the cartoon when i was a little kid growing up and um, I really like that it represents that of her, of just the whole theme from the movie uh, about nature. So that's what the natives, um, they believe. And um, I like her shoes. Um, she's actually really barefoot, but, um, you know, that's okay. So that's pretty. And let's just turn her around. I like that it's dragged down to the floor and she's holding it. I just love her posture. The way she's standing is like this strong, brave woman. And I, I really, really love that. And I really admire that about Pocahontas. In case anyone do not know, fun fact, history. Pocahontas is actually based on a true story. Um, not 100%, but you can actually Google it and read about it. I knew about this when I was a little girl. I actually read the book. And um, that's pretty interesting, but it's also pretty sad at the same time. So, yeah, and this is how Pocahontas was made into this princess and into this animation because of the uh, the history that's pretty much kind of like the true story of an actual real Pocahontas of a Native American girl. And, um, yeah, so this is her, and I really, really love it sorry you heard that noise my knee cracked um yeah but anyways so thank you all for watching and for being patient i don't do youtube as this like a job it's more like a hobby and that's pretty much it that's what i do so i don't really do consistent videos and i'm my focus is more of becoming an author but I like to do this for fun, and it's more of my escape from reality and stress. So, and yes, I enjoy collecting Disney princesses and then scope figurines. Thank you for stopping by, and I see you in the next video of my next figurine. Take care. Bye.